Manchester City forward Khadija Bunny Shaw heads a strong 23 player squad called up by Reggae Girls head coach Vin Blaine ahead of next Thursday's CONCACAF qualify against Bermuda at the National Stadium. The squad was released during an online media launch on Thursday. The core of the Reggae Girls squad is part of the Jamaican unit which made its debut at the FIFA World Cup in 2019. Newcomers include twins Michaela and Melai K. Days of the University of Maryland. But notable absentees include scorer of Jamaica's only World Cup goal, Havana Salon, who is injured. Shayna Matthews, who announced on her Instagram page that she and her husband are expecting their third child. And Jamaica's World Cup captain, Kanye Plummer, who is skipping the campaign for personal reasons. Speaking at Thursday's media launch, head coach Vin Blaine explained the selection process. Yeah, most these players have, have played before uh, and quite seasoned campaigners. We we are, were without a few players that, that um, were invited uh, because of um, documentation issues. Uh, looking forward to having them in the, in the near future. But these are the girls that we have chosen and uh, that I have selected. We still have a formidable squad experienced players and some new faces that I'm taking the, up, the opportunity to, to look at. Meanwhile, Blaine has released his coaching staff with several new appointees, including assistant coaches Everton Edwards and Tony Cowan, the only woman in the technical team. Florida International University for 20, probably more, better part of 23 years, he coached there until he went back to UK. So he, has, I, he and I have um, I, I, I worked together before, so I'm comfortable with him. Um, he, and when I'm talking about coaching college, I'm talking about the women's team at FI, FIU. Um, a couple of our players that I, that I were playing for the national team went, went, um, came on a, a, his coaching. Um, we have um, a young um, female coach, Tony Cowan, who um, actually is now doing her um, UFA B license through Scotland. And the government has given approval for 2,500 fully vaccinated fans to support the reggae girls when they face Bermuda on Thursday at 7 p.m. at the National Stadium. Interested fans will have to be validated by the government's electronic system, which will be opened shortly. The JFF also announced that former national women's representatives will have a free admission to the game, but they too must be fully vaccinated and registered through the online portal.